Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the LEGO City Deep Sea Operation Base. So this is how far we made it in part one. We have a couple of the exploration vehicles, we have an underwater treasure, and we're beginning of the deep sea plane, or I guess a water plane. So we're going to begin bag number four, which is right here. Looks like there's a lot of gray, a little bit of color in here, but mostly all gray. Here's our small bag of parts. Dump those off to the side. So let me kind of sort these a little bit. do is just kind of spread them out like that. These long plates, I find it interesting sometimes that they come a little bent or curved up like this one. I don't know if you can really see it, but it is kind of curved up a little bit. No worries, I'll just uh, use them anyway, unless they're actually broken. I'm not really going to bother trying to call Lego customer support and try to get a replacement or anything. And then once we attach all the other plates anyway, or any other bricks to it, they usually uh, flatten out pretty, pretty well anyway. So you see we've got a long wingspan. These are the, the wings that we're building in this portion of the build. Tips two by four, a two by four. And on each one of these brackets we have trans yellow tiles. They're round tiles. are still kind of long and bendy so it looks like we're gonna need to build some kind of support for them although this looks like it's going to be the pontoon pieces built two of them we have this technic kind of eye-shaped connector piece then we're going to attach four of these modified plates with the pinhole on the side. Do that to all four of these pins that are exposed. Let's see, where's the last one? That was the hidden brick. So we we'll take really Dexter. Really? When I'm on a video is when you're gonna start meowing. Alright, so those both go on the sides. Just like that. Let me open the door for this cat. 
Yeah. Sorry about that. Bumped the camera stand. Blame that on Dexter. He usually wants to be in the room when I'm doing videos, but he'll usually just sit off to the side and take a nap. But I guess today he was done with that and wanted out of here. All right, got some friction pins. Go on both sides of this. Move that to the side. Gonna create a few pontoon pieces. I believe we're gonna do two of them, yeah. So let me get the other one going so we can get them both wiped out at the same time. pontoon pieces so we bring our wing piece over and you can see we have these these two brackets with the friction pin sticking out so basically we have these pinholes line those up that slides perfectly in there do the other side line them up there they go Now, let me scoot some of this out of the way, bring the airplane over, turn this guy this way, and this attaches to the top of the plane. That long plate will go Span all the way across and interlock all that together. Couple slotted tiles. Some yellow tiles. And then some more tiles that start all the way back here at the, uh, the vertical fin. Bring them all the way to the front.
Alright, so these get stickers. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, okay. There's two stickers that I'm looking at that look very similar. I need to make sure I put the right one on. And these are this top one. So Lego recently has been numbering stickers. So you make sure to get the right one. And for some reason this set does not have them numbered. So you have to carefully pay attention to the instructions and make sure you get the right sticker on there. This other side gets the sticker that looks similar. Make sure you have a clean surface when you put these stickers on. Alright, so we have the three long Technic axles that go in each side. shape that goes on one side. Have a half bushing, a propeller, and another half bushing. And if the propeller, like if you push this too hard on there, the propeller won't turn. You have to loosen that, that bushing, pull it away just slightly. You'll see that turns a lot easier. So the less friction, the better. So these both attach to the top of the wings. awkward to spin them but you can see they both spin pretty easily all right so that completes the seaplane portion of this build it also completes instruction book number three let's go ahead and get our pilot in there so we'll just lift that front portion off to put them in and remember we have the little cargo doors that open up on both sides and then go down. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and move on to the next bag, which is going to be bag number five. And it will begin instruction book number four. So we're going to start be the build of the undersea operation headquarters base. So there's bag five. Small bag and the big bag, as always. And we have a minifigure. This is going to be the fifth minifigure of the set, and this is the 
female undersea operation base worker. So she's wearing the Deep Sea Explorer issued, looks like a uh, safety vest with a dark red sweater underneath the vest. So put her to the side. Once we build the the base, we'll find a spot for her on the inside of it. So we're going to begin with some plates, some Technic plates. like we're building a, a car chassis. If you ever built any Lego cars, it may look familiar. We have three of these six by six plates. Turn this over. Four by two round plates. Turn it back around. Inverted slopes. And some bricks. We have two by two jumper tiles. ladders on the side and we'll put a few of these Technic pins with the stud on the end. A couple more jumper tiles and we're going to insert these bars with the clip on the end inside of these. bar attached to it right there. Couple more ladders. Three 
And last one. <clears throat> couple lights. It's basically a clear round tile attached to that bar. This tile is attached to a clip. Modified plate with a clip. The light goes right to there. So you see we have kind of like posable lights that rotate along that bar that they're clipped to. Okay, so we'll turn this around. Sucks. Time for a sticker. This looks like it's some sort of electronic control panel. Carefully put that on. Looks like it also has some post-it notes or something stuck to the end there. sticker and this one is similar to the one we just put on. It's another electronic control panel. We have a hinged brick it goes right here. Plate on top of there to hold it together. Table plate, so I go right here in the middle. So there. Now we have the printed keyboard tile. I don't know if you can really see that, but there you go. See, it has that printed keyboard on it. The camera actually zoomed pretty well. I'm surprised. That goes there. And chair one by one with a clip on the side and a plain one by one brick there. these bricks with clips, a regular brick, another brick with a clip, and one more brick with a clip. Some standard bricks, and a couple more 1x2 bricks. So we have a 
another sticker. Looks like a display screen. It's going to go right over the keyboard. So that's what that keyboard is controlling. Trying to get it on as evenly and straight as possible. Uh, it's kind of my OCD about stickers. I really dislike putting them on in general, but if I'm going to put them on, they need to be as straight as possible. So that's where the screen goes, and then we have one more tile that is going to get another sticker. The smaller the sticker, the smaller the piece, the harder it is to put on. So there we go, that got that on. So, we are going to end this portion of the build right now. So we finished our airplane. We've begun the undersea base. You can see the airplane's done. We're beginning the undersea base. We have all that that we built from the first video. So, in the third and final part of this build, we are going to finish the whole undersea operation base. So, Make sure to subscribe, check out my other videos, don't miss the final part, and we'll see you there.